Today we are talking about spiritual omens and a key thing about them that I don't think people talk about enough. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I know I've already posted six videos on this channel since the new year, but those were very much pre-filmed. So this is my first time sitting down and filming for a while. And in the time since I last filmed, I also hit 1,000 subscribers, which is a very special milestone for me, especially because it initiated me into the YouTube Partner Program on this channel. I hit the 4,000 watch hours long before I actually hit 1,000 subscribers. So I want to thank everybody who watched my super long aspect videos and other long videos that I posted for getting me to those 4,000 plus watch hours and thank you everyone who's subscribed. This is also a very special milestone because I never exactly hit it on Party Trick Astrology because we had such an insane growth uh, where we went from 400 to 8,000 subscribers in 24 hours and that was such a blessing but also just so overwhelming and different from this experience on my individual channel and this just feels really special and I want to thank everyone who's subscribed. I love the community that I've built on here so far so just thank you for being here and thank you for everyone who watched my 12 days of wellness miss series. I was a little nervous about how that would go since I feel like most people are here for the astrology so I just want to especially thank everyone who watches all of my content and it was really interesting to see what you guys reacted to within that series in terms of engagement and views and whatnot. Astrology content is not going anywhere but I hope that you will also be excited for other things that I have in store for 2021 and please just as always let me know what you would like to see from me. I mean now that I'm actually making money off of these videos there's a little bit more of an extra incentive to give the people what they want. <laughs> Although all of my content always comes from the heart. It's always what I want to do at the end of the day. I'm an Aquarius. But coming up, I will actually be releasing a Midheaven series since that seemed to generate some interest in the comments after my Ascendant series. So definitely stay tuned for that. But I've rambled long enough at this point. Let's get into the topic of today's video, which is spiritual omens. So I had the idea to talk about this topic when I was actually reading the book Nightmares by Stace Stacy Michaels. The North Node is transiting my 12th house and ever since it has been I've been experiencing a lot of nightmares. So this book was recommended to me and I wanted to dive into some dream interpretation, understanding what my dreams might mean on an occult symbolic level. Obviously as someone who is interested in understanding poetic justice through the language of astrology, dream interpretation is something that really appeals to me. But this book brought up, you know, omens in dreams. And what it spoke about to me also felt really applicable to omens in general. In astrology, especially Vedic astrology, the language lends itself to omens and symbology. For example, in Vedic astrology, Rainbows are representative of Rahu or the North Node because rainbows are an illusion and Rahu is a shadowy illusionary planet. There's also other things like vehicles being representative of Venus or Jupiter ruling fruit or the moon ruling salt and this is just another aspect of astrology that incorporates poetic language that allows us to interpret our lives, not only from a birth chart, 
uh, self understanding psychological perspective, but also as omens in our lives. Like if there's something going on with your car, Vedic astrology will suggest that you should look into your relationship. If you see a rainbow at a particular time with Vedic astrology linking rainbows to Rahu, that might be an omen that something in your life has a Rahu theme to it at the moment that you see that rainbow. You know, stuff like that. And as someone who has a lot of anxiety and definitely has struggled with anxiety uh, very seriously at certain points in my life. Omens have been something that I have clung to as a sort of security blanket almost into trying to figure out what the future holds because that's a lot of what anxiety has to do with. It's future tripping and worrying and fixating on the future, on what is going to happen. And so if you're experiencing anxiety and you're familiar with what astrology has to say in terms of omens and predictive symbolism, you can really cling to and be hyper aware of the poetry behind everything and sometimes even to a detrimental point. And you know, I was constantly looking up like, what does this mean? I saw three birds and blah, 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 blah. what does this mean? Always trying to figure out what everything meant. And that can be really, really exhausting. That can be anxiety enabling rather than anxiety reducing. I speak about how numerology was another enabling factor in my anxiety, in my spirituality and anxiety video. And what Stace Michaels spoke about in one point in her book about dream interpretation really stuck out to me and is something that I just don't hear people in the spiritual community talk about when it comes to predictive omens or symbolic omens that you can experience in your life. And that is that your personal relationship to an object, an omen, will interpret the meaning of that omen in your life much more than what certain literature defines as the meaning of an omen. And your emotional response to an omen is much more important than I feel like sometimes we give ourselves credit for. In the context of what Stace Michaels was speaking to in terms of dream interpretation, it would be something like if you see a mushroom in a dream, you might read from certain sources that mushrooms mean X, Y, or Z. I don't know necessarily. Like mushrooms are a symbol of hidden poison or of whatever, whatever. But maybe if you're dreaming about a mushroom, mushrooms might have a certain nostalgic tie or a real life memory associated with you. Maybe your grandmother grew mushrooms in her garden and maybe those mushrooms in your dream are a symbol of your grandmother visiting you in your dream. And I know this seems like a relatively small thing to make a whole video about, but I just think that it's something that I needed to hear and maybe <laughs> you do too, maybe other people do too. Because like I said, I used to look so deeply into the symbolic potential of something and disregard my emotional reaction to it and place, you know, an importance on it that was derived by somebody else and in that way disregard my intuition. Let's take rainbows for example. With rainbows in Vedic astrology being representative of Rahu and Rahu being somewhat of a feared, scary symbol in Vedic astrology, that correlation can incite fear or 
anxiety into someone when they see a rainbow, when in reality, a lot of people have warm feelings towards rainbows or associations with rainbows from their own life or even associations with rainbows through poetry that doesn't have to do with Vedic astrology, like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow um, could mean something to you more than rainbows being illusions and therefore relating to Rahu. I hope that makes sense. And I absolutely don't want to discredit spiritual literature, especially when it comes to Vedic astrology, which are so ancient and highly regarded. But I think that it's also important for us when examining omens or spiritual symbolism to take our personal experiences, emotional ties, and emotional reactions to symbols into account and place a higher priority on that. So I think the takeaway from this video and what I took away from the parts of the Nightmares book that this was spoken about in is before looking for answers outside of yourself to what something means when it comes to omens and symbolism and in essence messages from spirit, look inside of yourself first. Pay attention to your associations and your emotional reactions to something before you look for some meaning that has been dictated by someone else. I think that spirituality and astrology are amazing, amazing tools for so many reasons, but I think that uh, trapping that we can fall into in following astrology and spirituality is making ourselves slaves to it, making ourselves dependent on these tools. And that's why I think that this topic of spiritual omens having more to do with your association with them rather than somebody else's dictated interpretation is so important even if it is such a minute detail in the grand scheme of things but yeah that's all i have to say for today i hope that you enjoyed this video thank you again for 1000 subscribers consider subscribing if you haven't already because there are some really exciting things coming to this channel but thank you for being here either way i hope that you have a great rest of your day or night and thank you for watching. Bye.